Um, let's speak to our correspondent in the occupied West Bank. At least three Palestinians have been killed there during Israeli raids overnight. Let's speak to Imran Khan. He's in Ramallah. Imran, the death toll there has been mounting over the course of the last few weeks. Talk us about what happened in these latest raids. Well, the latest death toll I can bring you from the occupied West Bank is 114. Three of those were killed last night in the Askar refugee camp. A 25-year-old Palestinian was killed and 10 others there wounded. In the town of Tamun, which is in Tubas, a 32-year-old Palestinian was killed there and seven others were injured. And in Bethrima, near Ramallah, a 30-year-old Palestinian was killed. So that's bringing the death toll up to 114. Like I say, this is what we are now seeing within the occupied West Bank. It used to be that the Israelis would come into one location, pretty much, and raid that location and come back. It's now multiple locations uh, and multiple targets uh, happening almost every single night, certainly every single night in the last seven days. Um, every time uh, a Palestinian goes to sleep now, they are worried that there's going to be a raid somewhere near them, and that's what we're seeing. Uh, Imran, we know that we've also been talking about the number of Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails for some time. That's certainly being discussed in Israel's negotiations with Hamas, I imagine. That's absolutely right. Let me just give you some numbers. Uh, there are some 6,600 uh, Palestinians in Israeli jails. That's the highest number it's been in over a decade. Um, of those... Um, 1,500 have been actually arrested since October the 7th. Of the 6,600, 1,800 are held without charge on something that they call administrative detention. So the focus for Hamas is getting their people out, getting these Palestinians out of Israeli jail. But that's something that the Israelis are, kind of, are bulking at because they feel that their people in Gaza are actually innocent and they are uh, held as hostages rather than uh, prisoners or captives. But they see uh, the Palestinians that they're holding, even though they're holding many without charge, like I say, as being part of the prison system. Remember, the occupied West Bank doesn't come under Israeli civil law. It comes under Israeli military law, the occupation law. So a lot of those uh, people are held on charges that perhaps wouldn't be held in Israel. Minor charges, perhaps, for, like, holding a Palestinian flag or even uh, picking up a rock at a demonstration, that kind mm. of thing. So it's a very difficult negotiation process for the Israelis, but uh, the Hamas are very clear. Uh, they want those Palestinian prisoners out of jail. Imran Khan there with the latest for us from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Thank you, Imran.